In the village of San Miguel Los Lotes, there's evidence of destruction everywhere. A massive volcanic eruption unleashed a torrent of lava, mud and ash, which engulfed the community. The so-called pyrotechnic flow raced down the side of the Fuego volcano, giving people little time to escape. Rescue workers struggled to find bodies, many of which were buried inside their houses. Access is very difficult, and it's really hot in the places we're trying to dig bodies out of the ash. The deeper you dig, the more intense the heat. By morning, the scale of the disaster was becoming clear. The volcanic mud flows buried entire families. Well, this is the epicenter of the slide, and it's the focus of the rescue efforts right now. Rescue workers pouring out across this area, going into houses and pulling out bodies. In just 15 minutes, we've seen four bodies pull, pull out. There's not a lot of hope for survivors. Sunday's volcanic eruption shot ash more than six kilometers into the sky and sent lava streaming down a highway. It was the Fuego volcano's most powerful eruption in decades. More than 3,000 people fled to temporary shelters. But while they might be out of harm's way, the memories still linger. We were all yelling, run, get out, because some people didn't believe what was happening. So many people died, it was horrible. All we have left is what we were able to carry. Guatemala's president visited the site on Monday. He promised to release government funds to help with reconstruction. We met until the early hours of the morning to ensure that all the legalities and agreements are functioning. Now this will go back to the Congress to put these resources into operation with complete transparency. But for many of those who survived, it's difficult to imagine what it will take to recover. The scale of this disaster is simply too great. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Sacatepeques, Guatemala.